Okay, Ashley, last day of school dance, go. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Hello. Hi, Megan. Oh, hello. <laughs> so happy to be here. I miss you. Did you miss me? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Good morning from the Bingham House. It is the last day of school, but that's not the only exciting thing that's happening today. We had a very unexpected surprise visitor. Grandma! Show up. <laughs> Grandma! Grandma Adams from Arizona surprised us last night. We had no idea she was coming, and we are so excited yeah. that she's here. So happy we surprised you. <laughs> we really were so surprised. And she's here this morning to do the very last day of school, the whole time that we've been in quarantine. She's been saying, I just wish that I could come help with school. So she made it for the last day. <laughs> so she's here to have fun, but we're gonna do the last day of school. And Aunt Stephanie is here. So basically, I'm like on vacation today. I've got two helpers helping us with our last day of school. It's a total party today. Oh, you're my baby. How tall are you taller than me? Oh my gosh, I think he really is. Oh, he is, for sure. Oh my gosh, but go back to back right now. You're taller than grandma. Stop growing up. Even without the hair, he's taller than me. <laughs> hey, Ashley, that's how I ride my bike. <laughs> Backflips. That must be where you get it from, Ash. For those of you who are new here, Grandma Adams is my mom and she lives in Arizona, so we don't get to see her very often. So to have her up here is such a treat. And we're so excited that she's here. Everybody, it is the last day of school. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You guys, it is the last day of school. We could not be more stoked. We are so excited. Lake Powell, here we come. Summer, here we come. It is the summer of endless summers. As long as COVID-19 allows us to have fun. True. To celebrate, we have actually a lot of things on the agenda today. Today's gonna be a very fun day of just celebrating how hard these kids have worked uh, during the school year, and above all, celebrating how hard they've worked in the last month, almost two months, of being quarantined and homeschool. So seriously, these guys have worked so hard, so we're gonna have a little fun today. In fact, Turn has one final school project to go, and it's gonna be epic. He has to do, da -da -da -da. I had to do like some science for a project, so I picked the easiest one, Cocomentos. Cocomentos size. So guys, we are doing a little experiment to see which of these will shoot higher. Now we have a 67 ounces. Yes, they're all the same, right? We've got a diet, a regular, and then a knockoff brand. So the goal here is to see which one shoots higher. This is the science experiment. We have our Mentos, and we have our Gunner. Here we go. All right, everybody. The goal here, as we said, is to see which one goes the highest. Okay, so first we're gonna test the Diet Coke. You gotta do it fast. I think the Diet Coke went higher. Yeah. Diet Coke so far is winning. So now we're gonna do the knockoff Sam's Cola. All four. I just want Okay, so the Diet Coke like literally destroyed. The Diet Coke I think was definitely higher. I, I, I couldn't manage to get all four in though on the second two, so I don't know, but if, I'm pretty sure Diet would have won. All right, well, science experiment complete, my friend. Yep. A plus. Good job. Try it again. Good job. Try it again. All right. Good. I did it. The time has come. The moment has arrived. The day is here. School's out. School's out. Last day of school, everybody. Uh, let's see your best last day of school dance and go. I don't know. <laughs> okay, Ashley, last day of school dance, go. Then <laughs> the last day of school dance. What do you got? Boom, boom, boom. So mom has been out shopping 
for our Lake Powell trip. For our Lake Powell trip. Woo! Woo! Coming there, but I picked up some pizza on the way home so we could have an end of school celebration. <gasps> and this is the pera pizza. If you are wondering, that is actual pears, prosciutto, basil, and pistachios. Get One of the best pizzas in ever. My belly. Get in my belly. We've got classic pepperoni. We've got a new one here, which is a portobello mushroom truffle. And truffle, truffle. Okay. Ooh, a little salsicha going over here with Mr. Turbo. A cheese, classic cheese for the Ashmeister. Oh, hey guys. Just Mrs. Bingham here from Bingham Family University. I can't believe it's the last day of school. I'm so proud of all my students, all four of them. Thank you, Mrs. Bingham. Mrs. Bingham, hot. How are you doing? Turin Adams Bingham graduating from elementary school and on to seventh grade. <laughs> Look at that gown. <laughs> yeah. So Taryn, what was your very favorite part of sixth grade? And you can talk about in school and at home. I honestly like thought that Online school is going to be super fun, but I honestly kind of miss my friends, so I think that just normal school before that. You miss I, school. I just like normal school before that. Okay, yeah, there you have it, folks. He misses school. He just said that. Why well, miss my friends from school? <laughs> Ashton Timothy Bingham, graduating from third grade. All right, Ashley, what was your favorite part of third grade? So my favorite part of third grade was at school. So when we were doing the experiment of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, we made something and like, if we did, did the instructions perfect, she would make it perfect. But if we didn't, then she would make it as the way the instructions we did it. So if she said didn't have a knife, she would spread it with her hands. Oh <laughs> and, my goodness. And it, so we said put a piece <laughs> of bread on it. So our our team had one piece of bread and just, jelly on it because we didn't say peanut butter. So oh. it was just a piece of red and <laughs> jelly. No way. <laughs> and then there was others that just had like a half cup piece of bread. <laughs> no <laughs> way. Oh my gosh, that sounds like a good idea for a new YouTube video, don't you think? <laughs> good job, Ashy. Woo! Landon Douglas Bingham, graduating from third grade. Which one? The, the one that we went to the planetarium. That was your favorite part of third grade? Yeah. I love it. Go land, go! <laughs> Ava May Bingham, graduating from preschool. Yeah, we're done, out of here, woo! <laughs> what was your favorite part about preschool? Singing the, singing the song blue. Yes, can you give us like one little line of it so we can remember what it sounds like? B-L-U-E-S-S-L-U-B-L-U-E-S-S-L-U mm, -E -E Hi, how did you know B-L-U-E-S-S-L-U -E yeah. woo! 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 All right, you guys, all jokes aside, it really is so exciting that it's the last day of school. It's been such a crazy ride, I know, for all of us, for all of you teachers, for all of us parents. We never in a million years thought we would be suddenly all doing school from home, and I am so personally so grateful that school is over. But I am a little bit sad because this has been such a, a fun time with the kids to get to do school with them and to watch Honestly, for me to watch them personally improve and adjust to the situation, I cannot tell you the difference between day one and today. Landon and Ashton specifically have been getting up every morning. Consistently, yeah. At like 7 a.m. And 
they usually get up before I do and by the time I wake up they come in and say mom guess what I have this done and I have this done and I have this done they used to need help with 75% of what they do I think they need help with maybe one or mm -hmm. two things a day now and even then they barely need any help at all I just am so proud of them it's been so fun to watch them just do their very best and improve so much cute little Ava it's been so fun to spend so much time one-on-one -on -one with her because I can't believe she's going to kindergarten next year and to get to be with Turin when he was kind of you know not able to be with his friends as much I truly have so much gratitude in my heart for the time that we got to have with them and who knows maybe we'll be doing this again in the fall but <laughs> and honestly I'm super grateful to this guy because He's always juggling a million hats and he has been stepping in and helping where he can with the kids' schoolwork because it's kind of hard just having one of me and four of them and he's it was just, fun though. yeah, we've honestly, it's been a total team effort and you know, yeah, <laughs> sort of, you shouldered most of it. It was fun though, for sure, to watch them work from home. I was really impressed how the educational system just pivoted so quickly to online learning. It was actually really impressive. Well, yeah, that's all the teachers. You know, everybody just kind of rose to the occasion. It was so amazing. Okay, we're gonna do a couple shout outs. Thank, <laughs> you, thank you to all of you for all of your support and all of your comments. From YouTube, thank you to Carly G Basketball. Thanks so much. From Emmy Lou B. Thanks so much. From Aaron McCarthy. Thanks so much. And Sarah O'Neill. Thanks so much. Thank you guys. Oh, and if you are new to this channel, by the way, welcome to Our Life in Holland. And be sure to, what Ava? Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe down below. Turn on that. Notification bell. Notification bell. Also, for those of you who are new here, I see this a lot in our comments. We do not coincidentally have the same last name as all of the other Binghams on YouTube. Justin and Brandon are brothers. So Justin, Brandon, Michelle, Sean, and Jared are all siblings. There are many Bingham YouTube channels, but we are all related. I know it's confusing because our YouTube name is Our Life in Holland, but we are also related to all of the Binghams. Just to clarify that, because I know a lot of people have been confused. And oh, also guys, don't forget to thumbs up this video, please. And summer, here we are.